guys we are going to make my homemade sausage stuffing in my ninja foodie grill coming up this is cooking with cj the show about cooking drinking barbecue and all the other stuff that goes along with it i am not a chef i am not a bartender i am not a pit master but i play all three on tv i'm going to show you how to make quick easy tasty recipes and have a little bit of fun along the way so let's get this party started What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, and if you're a returning subscriber, part of CJ's crew, you know I love you. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, that bell next to it, get the alerts on all what we're doing here, and make sure you hit that like button because I know you're gonna like this recipe. When I think of Thanksgiving, besides thinking of a turkey, I think of stuffing, but it's not really stuffing because I ain't stuffing it in the bird. I just make a quick homemade sausage dressing if you will since you don't stuff it in the bird all right simple easy easy to do in fact we're gonna spend a little bit of time on the stove on this one because we're gonna cook the sausage I got some Jimmy Jean just sage breakfast sausage um, little onions little celery butter rosemary pepper salt just simple simple flavors all right little turkey stock I got a French baguette right here. We're just gonna cube it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just run it through with a bread knife. Get a nice pile of bread. You know, you could let it dry a little bit, but you're gonna moisten it with the turkey, uh, turkey stock. So, I mean, it's up to you how you guys do it. All right, it'll be about 20 minutes in the foodie grill, about 350. It's gonna be easy to do. I am doing a lot of cooking today, so you see two, you know, you're going to see in the background that there's two foodie grills going right now. You don't have to have two foodie grills to cook <laughs> your holiday meals in here, but hell, it doesn't hurt, especially when you're a YouTube creator and you're filming tons of stuff, all right? I am making a bunch of holiday dishes, mostly focusing on Thanksgiving, but, you know, we'll go into the holiday meals for uh, Christmas too, all right? So that playlist will be right here. Check it out. Well, let's get started. I'm going to get you on the stove first because we want to make up our uh, our onion celery uh, uh, sausage mix. All right. So we want to get that all together. And then we'll uh, we'll get going over here on the Ninja Foodie Grill Station. All right. Come on back. All right, guys. Let's get this going. We got about half half a stick of butter in there. So we have our, you know, we cheated a little bit. We have our celery and onion mix right here only need about half of that not too worried about it guys any of the ingredients that i use on this cook will be down below so just check it out okay we're just gonna sweat these down a bit make them a bit translucent all right so we got these nice and translucent we're gonna add our sausage in there it said jimmy dean breakfast sausage Crush it all up. All right, we're gonna add a little fresh crab black in there. A couple teaspoons worth, however you like the pepper. Next in. All right, we're just gonna get this good and browned up. All right, the other thing we're gonna add is just about a sprig of rosemary in there. You could chop it up if you want. Oop. You could chop it up if you want. I just want to get it the perfume in there a little bit. We will fish it out before we uh, add it to the bread cubes. Okay, our sausage mix is done. Just got a little turkey stock here. Guys, if you have the time, go ahead and make your own. But we're going to add about half of this in there. And just kind of let it come together for a little bit. Get to know each other. Feel good about each other, you know. Get in the pool. Figure some stuff out. All right. So each one of these holds four cups, so it's about two cups in there. All right. Just kind of mix it around. I don't like a heavy duty, soggy kind of dressing. So I don't use as much chicken stock as some might. But this is how we're gonna roll. 
Okay, I'm gonna let this kind of cook together for about five minutes and then we'll get over and uh, add it to the breadcrumbs. All right guys, we're back over here on the Ninja Foodie Grill station. We have our bowl of just cubed up French bread baguette. Uh, nothing, you can even buy it like this. I bought it cubed up already from the bakery. So you can give it a go. So we have the other Ninja Foodie Grill going. Like I told you, we have a lot of cooking going on today. So that's it. <laughs> okay. To this bowl, we're gonna add our mix. Sausage, celery, onions, rosemary in there, sage, sausage, stuffing. Oh, smells. And we mix. Just fold it gently in there. Let the bread soak up that good, good juices in there. The oils, the butter. Butter and the fat will help brown this up in there too. No one thinks about that often. See if you can see down here, we're soaking up the juice down there. Just keep mixing it around till all the juice is soaked up into the bread. While we do that, let's get this thing on. We're gonna bake. We go 350. We'll go 20 minutes and we'll check on it. Uh, so we hit start, get the preheating going. By the time it's done preheating, all this will be ready to go in there. Just using the baking pan in there. So uh, you don't need anything else. I thought about using a little kind of disposable tray in there, which I'm going to use, I'm going to do with the, the green bean casserole. So you can catch that video right here. Um, but I think we got enough of this stuffing that I want to spread it out, give it a nice surface area. Got the foodie grill preheated. Let's get our stuffing mix in there. Now we're just going to spread it out on the bottom evenly. All good. Shut her down. We'll see you in 20 minutes. Stuffing is done. Look at all that. Pretty dang good to me. Okay, that's what we're looking at. We're just gonna put this in a nice serving dish. One thing I did not film, and I apologize, guys. It took 10 minutes to brown up, and I wanted to stir it up, get those crunchy bits through there. So, gave it another 10 minutes for the stuff on the bottom. The stuff on the bottom. Come to the top, get crispy. So we got nice crispy little bits all the way through. All right, we're gonna let this cool down a little bit. Little time for the taste test. Stuffing's done. Took a good picture for the thumbnail. Get a nice little crunchy bit right there. Get a little sausage. Look at that. You know you want some of that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Guys, I'm telling you, too easy to do, too damn good. All right, give this one a shot in your Ninja Foodie Grill. Do it today for your Thanksgiving or even Christmas if you'd like a little stuffing in there. All right, and you gotta give this one a shot. When you try it, comment down below, tell me how much you loved it, how much your family loved it, it's good to go. All right guys, if you're gonna get yourself one of them Ninja Foodie Grills, hit the link below. If you want to get yourself some cooking with CJ merch, again down below. If you want to help produce cooking with CJ, there's a link to my Patreon account. Click on it, join up, do a little extras back there. You'll love it. All right, that's it for this time. Make sure you guys are clicking that link down below for the Ninja Foodie Grill holiday cooking playlist. We got a lot of stuff going on. All right, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for cooking with CJ. Take care.